Okay, continuing on um, with our discussion on the types, the different types of uh, steps that you need to follow in an experiment. So, the method section. What's the method section? Well, it's basically an explanation of what you did in the experiment. Okay, so explanation of what you did in experiment. That's all it is. Okay, they're just steps, I should say. So they're steps, um, and it also includes the quantities you used. It includes quantities. Used quantities means the numbers that you use. Okay, so for example, um, place. So he, here's a sentence in the method. Okay, place 200 mil of acid into a measuring cylinder. That's an example of a method, a step. Okay, 200 mils of quantity. Okay, you've got to obviously have. Um, the units, okay, so place 200 of acid makes no sense. It could be 200 grams, it could be 200 um, liters, 200 mil. Okay, you specify the quantity. And here are the important things you need to um, note when writing a method, okay? You have to always start with verbs. Always. What are verbs? Ver verbs are doing words, remember? Okay, it's an action. So verbs are an action. So in this case here, place. Place, you've got to physically do something, right? Doesn't sit there, it doesn't, um, the acid doesn't jump into the cylinder by itself, okay? So you place it. You start with a verb, place, um, light, it could be um, uh, draw, it could be uh, sharpen, okay? So verbs, number one. Number two, another point to do is to number the steps. It's very important you put numbers by the steps, okay? Number the steps so you know which order. which order um, uh, they were done and for others to clearly see okay, so the others can so others can make sense it's very important in science so for example this could be step one okay that's what I mean by numbering the steps here's an example of a method okay so as before so number one could be place 200 mil of acid into a measuring cylinder That's step one. Step two, insert. Okay, that's another verb. Insert a cotton bud, for example, into bottom or into the bottom of a hundred mil beaker. Okay, these are examples of steps in a method. Okay, and uh, another thing to remember is to um, for past and present tense, past slash present. Okay. Use only one, use only one or the other. Okay, don't write place to um, don't write to place 200 mil and then write inserted to um, a cotton bar. It doesn't make sense, right? So be consistent. So place is present, uh, insert is present too. Okay, that's what I mean by that. Straightforward. Um, should also mention, also remind you. In regards to uh, measurements and units, so measurements slash units, okay. Make sure you use, um, let's say, two hundred mil instead of two hundred, as I mentioned. Okay, important to have those units so scientists and other people um, know what you are saying. Okay, so they can repeat your experiment. Obviously, if you just wrote two hundred, they won't know um, anything about what the two hundred means. Okay. Should also mention reliability. Okay, reliability. The word contains the word uh, reliability contains the word reliable. Okay, reliable means to be accurate. Okay, so you can so the experiment can be repeated. Reliability is important important in exper um, in an investigation. So um, your experiment can be repeated by others or yourself. Okay, to be accurate. So remember. Repeat means accurate, okay? If you repeat an experiment, it gets more accurate. Let me now talk about independent, dependent, and controlled variables. Okay, I'm not sure if you've touched on this before, but I'll, I'll define what they are, it's okay? Okay. Um, let me give you an example of an experiment first, okay? So, example, 
Um, which brand? So let's say this is the hypothesis, okay? The guess. Which brand of microwave popcorn? Microwave popcorn pops the most. I don't know how to spell anymore. Pops the most kernel. Kernels. Okay, kernels are those um, little golden seeds, seed things uh, in a bag of micro popcorn. Okay, which brand? So there are three brands. Let's call them X, Y, and Z. It doesn't matter. They could be anything. They could be A, B, and C. They could be, I don't know, um, apple, banana, orange. Doesn't matter what they are. Okay. Let's say you have these steps now. Okay, place brand X of popcorn into microwave. Okay. Step number two, let's say count the number of kernels popped. Okay. Let me identify the independent, dependent, and controlled variables. Now, controlled, I'll start with, um, sorry, yeah, I'll start with controlled. Controlled variables, control means to keep the same. Okay. A variable is a quantity. Okay. Something that you that you're using, that you're using to work with, okay? It could be uh, mass, it could be um, concentration, stuff like that, okay? What's kept the same? Well, um, the same mass, for example, same mass of um, popcorn bran. Okay, let's say each, one, each bag is 200 grams, for example. That's a controlled, okay? You have to make sure that each uh, bag of popcorn, each from different, each different brand, has the same mass, Okay, to make sure the experiment goes, um, make sure the experiment's controlled. Okay, if there were different masses, you wouldn't know, it wouldn't really tell you much, okay? So let's say mass is the control variable. Dependent, oh sorry, independent. Independent, the thing that um, you're not um, uh, measuring, okay? What are you not measuring here? You're not measuring uh, the brand, okay? So this is the independent variable in this step. The thing that you're not measuring, that's the brand, okay? Brand X, for example. Dependent is something that depends on the independent variable, okay? That's the number of kernels. That's the dependent variable. Okay, the number of kernels depends on the micro, on the brand, right? It depends on, so the, the brand that gives the most kernels, obviously, is the brand that's the best value for buck for your money, right? So the number of kernels depends on which brand you're talking about, right? So that's different types of variables. Now, why is this experiment valid? I should mention as well, um, it's because uh, it's valid, okay, it makes sense because only one variable is was tested, okay? The variable that was tested was the dependent variable, number of kernels, only one variable at a time, okay? While the other ones were kept constant, so the bags were kept constant, okay? This makes the experiment more accurate, and they're the different types of variables.